There are calls to reinstate free travel for frequent Opal card users to ease weekend congestion on Sydney roads. Passengers on trains and buses dropped on the Saturday immediately after the change, but the government says it was a one-off. It's a sunny Saturday at Cronulla. Cars are beach-bound bumper to bumper. Meanwhile, track work means the train line's closed and buses are quiet. The traffic's insane. I live here, Cronulla, and I tend to, I try to avoid driving out and in on weekends. Initially under Opal, most commuters enjoyed complimentary public transport after their eighth paid journey inside a week. It meant most users travelled for free on weekends. But in September, the government replaced that policy with half price fares. The following week, immediately after that change, an internal departmental report revealed public transport patronage dropped 8%. 622,000 fewer trips on trains, 433,000 fewer trips on buses. The weekends in question, it was raining, so a lot of people probably decided to jump in the car. Let's look at it over a longer period, let's look at it over a 12 month period. Uh, be reasonable about it. The change saw a rise in revenue for the government, more than a million dollars in that first week alone. But critics also say it's contributing to worsening congestion on our roads, particularly on weekends. The government will have to reconsider what they're doing and have a look at this option and reinstating it because the whole purpose of Opal was to encourage people on public transport. The same week saw an increase in the number of commuters on Sunday, making the most of the $2.50 cap fare. What we saw last year was almost $300 million of free travel given away. Uh, that's unsustainable when you're losing revenue and people want more and better services. Davina Smith, Nine News.